sure I'll tell you, Doctor. But you've got to do something about it or I'm finished. I can't stand it anymore. Life isn't worth living. When a thing like this happens to you, even though its approach is gradual, it's too much. Why did it have to happen to me, of all people, who began as such a normal child? came the usual initiation into the fraternal group. I really wanted to belong. I'd do anything just to be one of the boys. As a teenager, I developed a classic case of inferiority complex. What did all the others have that I didn't have? At first, I couldn't see it. And then it all fell into place. I discovered the secret formula to success. A few drags and life was a breeze. Posted into the world with a new confidence, and all around me were promises of even greater pleasures. For super flavored fun, for jumbo smoking pleasure, Union is the cigarette for you. He loves puff because. Laboratory tests prove that Siggy's give you 23.5% more smoke per pack than any other brand. Siggy, the cigarette of the future. Time went by, and I became a solid success. But I became aware that I depended much too much on the use of, shall we call it, the drug. I ignored the simpler pleasures for its company. After week, after month, after year, I carried on, loving it, hating it, but I couldn't stop. I was hooked. And then the shock. The new 
news came that the cigarette is a killer. But what was I to do? I couldn't give it up. And every time I tried, my life became a nightmare. something, Doc. It's up to you. Now then, the first step in stopping is to be convinced that you've got to stop. This is true whether you want to stop because of your health or for any other reason. Not until you've reached the stage when you say, I must stop and I'm going to stop, will you actually be able to stop. What the heck? One more won't hurt me.